What's going on there guys? My name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and if you haven't heard the big news coming out of Flight Sim Expo in San Diego, Thrustmaster have announced a new product for their civil aviation line, a flight control yoke and throttle quadrant licensed by Boeing and based off of the 787 Dreamliner. This is incredibly exciting for us as flight simmers as it marks the first time Boeing has licensed a piece of hardware in the flight simulation industry. Tim from Thrustmaster revealed the new yoke at the event on Saturday and I've linked in the description the VOD from my Twitch livestream where we restreamed the reveal. Unfortunately I couldn't be at the event this year to record my own footage and give my initial impressions to you all, however some pictures and videos were posted on the FS Elite website which I'm showing on the screen now and I've also left a link in the description to their article. We're big fans of the team at FS Elite here, so a big thanks to them for their amazing coverage from Flight Sim Expo, despite all of the travel restrictions. So what makes this yoke special and different from all of the other plethora of new and old yokes on the market? The big difference is the fact that TCA yoke is built off of a pendular motion system. Unlike other yokes in the flight sim industry, which are all based on a pull-push mechanism, like in a lot of general aviation aircraft, the TCA yoke is pendular in design, and this is the first time we are seeing this style of design. It's also the first time Thrustmaster as a company have expanded out of their usual joystick or HOTAS flight control system designs. Thrustmaster didn't reveal an insane amount of detail about the yoke and quadrant, although they did point out that the speed brakes and throttle levers on the quadrant can all be interchanged with an additional flap lever. This means that you can most likely put two of the throttle quadrants together for an authentic Boeing 747 setup with the speed brake lever on the left, four throttle levers in the middle and the flap lever on the right hand side. There also looks to be two autopilot disconnect switches, two point of view hat switches, two push to talk triggers, four rocker trim switches, a gear lever and Xbox controls on the yoke unit, whilst the throttle quadrant has five buttons and a really awesome design for an MCP scroll control knob where you can select between speed, heading or altitude. There also looks to be a connection for the TFRP rudder pedals if you use those too. Thrustmaster have stated the yoke has a full metal structural build and is compatible with both Xbox and PC too. There was no information about price or a release date, but we are expecting to hear more from Thrustmaster on the 9th of November, which is only six weeks away at the time of recording. For those of you who are only interested in the yoke itself, it very much looks like you can purchase this individually and it has some nifty sliders at the bottom of the unit for you to assign to the throttle axis if you so wish. Or you can purchase the throttle quadrant on its own or both together in one bundle, just like you can with the TCA Airbus edition line. The yoke and quadrant can clamp to your desk, the yoke having its own clamping mechanism, whilst the quadrant will need one of Thrustmaster's desk clamps, judging from the pictures and videos we have seen so far. If the quadrant is anything like the TCA Airbus edition, you can also just have this placed on your desk without the need to clamp it. I'm super excited to get my hands on this product and rest assured I will do an unboxing and in-depth review the second I'm able to. Let me know what you think of the new Thrustmaster Civil Aviation Boeing yoke in the comments below and like the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.